five dividend stocks. What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys or talk to you guys about my five stocks that I bought this week. So my five dividend stocks, and you guys know I'm actually in the process of building a $100,000 dividend portfolio. So this week I actually went shopping and um, I got me some you know, some new gear, got me some new stuff, which is, hey, by gear I mean new stocks. Um, so think about it, in 2008 when the market crashed, a lot of people lost their homes, lost their jobs, and there was so much uh, pain going around. Um, but guess what? Some people came out of that market smart, came out of that market making a ton of money. So it's just a matter of getting the right information. So fast forward to 2020, we'll face with the same thing. The market is crashing. Most people would panic pack their back or grab their money, sell their, their investments and go put them uh, maybe in a bunker or put it underneath their bed and sleep on it so that it's safe. But other people that are smart, you go shopping. You buy more when the price is low. Like Warren Buffett says that when, when most people are greedy, you should be fearful. And when most people are fearful, you should be greedy. And this is the time for you to be greedy. A lot of people are fearful right now. So what do you do? You go shopping. The price of the stock market actually just collapsed and everything is at least 30% off. Black Friday, guess what happens? People go out shopping because the prices are awesome, right? You get 30, 40, 50, 60% off your favorite items. Um, Cyber Monday, for people that are online shoppers, you go out shopping because prices are so cheap, you get so much discount. That's the exact same mentality I want you to have for the stock market. This time, um, I, I know it's hard. Uh, people are thinking about how they're gonna make ends meet. Uh, they're thinking about just to pay their mortgage, pay the student loans, and put food on the table because uh, a lot of people in the service industry probably don't have jobs right now because of what's going on. People are being told to stay home. Um, and I totally get that. And so this is not geared somehow to make you feel bad about yourself that you're not investing. But I'm just saying, if you do have any extra cash, even if it's $500 or $1,000, this is the best time for you to ever venture into the stock market and start investing. So I just wanted to put that out there, uh, make sure that this is not kind of like shaming people. If you don't have the money, that's fine. But if you do have some extra money, again, like I said, even if it's uh, $500 or $1,000, you put that in the stock market, now that the prices are this low, um, when the market bounces back, in five, 10 years from today, you're gonna to look at that $1,000 that you invested, it's probably gonna be three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 just from the growth. So uh, the trick is to pick the right stocks to invest in. So that's something that I, I kinda of wanna bring it out to you guys. So before we jump into you know my top five uh, dividend stocks that I bought this, this particular week, um, if you're new to the channel, I think 95% of you guys watching haven't subscribed to my channel. Man, what are you waiting for? Just hit that subscribe button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I post new videos, you get them and you get the notification. Yeah, because YouTube tells me that 95% of people watching my videos are not subscribed to my channel. Man, that's hurtful. Come on, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's jump into it. So, my first um, dividend stock that I got this week is um, WFC which is Wells Fargo Company. So I actually bought that. Um, they pay a dividend of about 7.2% and the price is really, really down. It's, I think it's about $27 now. It, that's like half price. Um, they, they, I think before the crash, it had a high of about, I think $54 or so. And now it's down to 27. So uh, if you wanted to, this is the best time to jump into it. And, Right now, everybody, banks and people are struggling and they're going through this, but guess who, uh, which companies will get a bailout if anything were to happen? Banks, they always get money. So I'm not worried that they're gonna come crashing because if things go south, the government is always gonna step up and bail them. So that's why I jumped in and got, and got me some, some Wells Fargo. Number two is Delta. 
Delta Airlines, that's another uh, really great company. They pay dividends of about 7.49. And so, again, if you've listened to the president talk about you know, helping the airline companies because they're really getting hit, hitting hard. So the government really want to step up and help them. And these are companies that um, when the government wants to help, they go really, really hard on them. Like the government always step up to the plate to assist this company. So um, for sure, Delta Airlines is gonna get bailed out if anything were to go wrong. So I'm not worried putting my money into that company. So that's a number two. Number three is Carnival Cruise. Um, people are not traveling. Nobody is going on a cruise. So these guys are pretty much like shut down. They're not even operating. Um, so. They are struggling, but guess what? Their prices are dropping, so this is the best time to buy because once this crisis is over, people are getting trapped inside. People are being told to go into lockdown mode. That is not the American spirit. People are so anxious. So they immediately, as soon as people get released um, from lockdown, when we get through this crisis of the COVID-19, people are gonna to wanna to travel, take a break, go on a cruise and just relax and get over this whole thing. And that's where kind of a cruise, your, your stocks are gonna like really skyrocket again. So if you haven't already, that is a good stock to jump into. So I have in my portfolio. So they pay um, dividend yield about 20%, which is awesome. Um, Emerson Electric, EMR, that's my fourth one. I really like them um, right now, 4.35% for their dividend yield. Um, and the price is I think about 30% off right now. So. And I'm using the word 30% off. So if you look at the 52 week high and then where the price is at right now, that's why I'm saying 30% off. So you might be thinking in your head like, how do you get 30% off? That is the way I do the math, okay? And finally, Boeing, BA. Boeing is the number one airplane manufacturer in the United States and in the world. I think they only compete with uh, Airbus in Europe. So imagine that anything were to go wrong with Boeing, what's gonna happen? All these airline companies will not have a place to buy or they'll have to go to Europe. The American government cannot let that happen. Or the, the State Department and all the military, they get their airplanes from Boeing. And the president has been talking about them and how they're struggling and they have to do something about it. And so Boeing right now is as cheap as, I mean, as cheap as you can go. As of the time that I'm, I'm doing this video, the price was about $95. Think about it. Boeing was over $300 maybe three or four months ago, and now it's at $95. We know they're gonna bounce back. There's, I mean, to me, I'm not even questioning that. They're gonna bounce back. It's just a matter of when. They're gonna get a bailout from the government. If anything would go so bad that they can't even survive, the government is gonna bail them out. So I know that. And so that's why I am putting money into Boeing and they pay a dividend yield of 8.41%, which is sweet. So I kind of like that. So those are my five dividend paying stocks that I got this, this week and I'm super excited. And um, I'm actually putting together a list of uh, five dividend paying stocks under $10, under $20 and under $30 because uh, like I said, Boeing is $95 right now. If you have $100, you might want to buy uh, Boeing and then something else. You could buy two two different companies. So I'm going to do uh, dividend paying stocks for uh, companies that are trading at um, under $10. So I'm going to do that video. So that's it for this video, guys. So let me know in the comment section, uh, what do you think? What are your, your top five dividend paying stocks that you bought during this crisis? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in, in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you guys. Um, most importantly, guys, this is a really, really tough time. Everybody is feeling the pain, is feeling um, just the, the anxiety of not knowing when we can get out and go about our lives uh, normally. Um, so whatever you do, stay safe, uh, protect yourself first and foremost, protect the people around you second. So if you don't have to go out to the bars or whatever, please don't do it. You don't have to go watch a movie, don't do it. Um, support your local businesses, you can do takeout. Um, but again, guys, stay safe and, and just kind of protect everybody around you. And as always, guys, stay motivated.